Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, tutorial on building a convolutional neural network using Keras and in this video we are going to work on fashion amnist dataset and we are going to build a classifier. So you have already seen how we uh, trained one multilayer perceptron uh, using Keras as well. But uh, now what I am going to do in this uh, video is to use to build a CNN, right? So let's uh, go to the notebook and start building our network, right? So the first thing that I want to uh, start with is uh, data preparation. So you will learn how to uh, prepare data and that thing you have already seen in my previous videos as well, right? So I have a CSV file which is the fashion MNIST dataset and actually this is a test dataset but just for the demonstration purpose I am going to use it so that we can train it quickly and see if our CNN is performing well or not, right? So the first thing is it is uh, the actual data set contains around 60,000 images in the training set and 10,000 images in the test set. So basically in this video I'm just going to use the train set or uh, test set and uh, split it into a validation set as well right. So that we will do during training only right. So let us uh, see right. So it has 784 features. So what I need to do I need to reshape it right. So let us uh, just reshape it because CNN accepts input in the form of an image. So I'm going to say X train is going to be X dot reshape and how many images we have? We have 10,000 images or you can just put minus one if you are not sure and each image is of 28 cross 28 and it has one channel, right? And we, we also need to convert Y which is uh, a 10,000 dimensional vector into uh, into a matrix which represents the every element in the one hot notation right so remember we talked about there are 10 classes so we have 10 classes in the y and if you want to see you can just run uh, np dot unique and you give y right so you can see there are classes which are numbered from 0 to 9 and maybe if you want to see how many examples are there of each class you can also see that right so there are 1000 examples of each class so it is a quite a balanced split right so okay so data data set is well balanced and now what i'm going to do i'm just going to convert y into uh, categorical data right so let us make y train which is going to be np dot utils uh, np underscore utils dot to categorical right and here I give y and if I now print the shape of x and if I now print the shape of y you will see there are 10,000 images each of 28 cross 28 and having one channel uh, as it is a grayscale image and 10,000 uh, examples with and each example is in is having a one hot label so there are uh, 10 there is a vector of size 10 with each example right so let us uh, try to visualize this data set for i in range uh, 10 let us say plot dot figure uh, ix i will create a new figure and plot dot show i will call and plot dot I am show and here you can give which image you want to print right so x train of let's say uh, i i and color map is going to be gray okay plot is not defined so let us uh, import matplotlib okay yeah this is So what is the error? Invalid uh, dimensions. Okay. So this should not be the case. Mm. Dot reshape twenty eight cross twenty eight. Okay. Yeah. You, now you can see uh, the data, right? So it looks like a trouser. Uh, 
so there are it's a, like a t-shirt this is some slipper or a sandal right so you can see there are fashion objects and now our task is to build a CNN classifier right so let us start building our CNN model using Keras and again it is going to be a sequential model so let us create one object uh, model object which is a sequential model and then you can use dot add function to add different types of layers to your model right so you can say model dot add like we did in multi layer perceptron as well right so the first layer is going to be a convolutional layer so you can say convolution duty so you, you can see i have imported this layer from uh, Keras, from Keras dot layers import input convolution 2D max pooling flatten tens and dropout right. So we are going to use all these layers right. Okay, so let us say this convolution layer is going to have um, uh, 32 filters and each is going to be of the size 3 and 3 and you can also specify what is the activation that you want to use in this right so you can say uh, activation equals to ReLU right so this is how easy it is to specify what convolution uh, you want to do on your input image right and remember the filters that this convolution layer is going to use they are going to be trained we are not going to give any hard coded filters right and for the first layer you also need to specify what type of uh, input it is going to accept right so it is going to accept input which is of the shape 28 cross 28 cross 1 right each image is going to have this dimension and after that maybe I can add one more convolution layer which is let's say now having 64 filters and each filter of 3 and 3 cross 3 and followed by the same activation and for all other layers you do not need to specify what is the input because it knows to or how, or how to automatically get the input from the previous layer right and one more thing that we can add is we can add one dropout layer right so dropout equals to 0.25 which means we are randomly going to drop 25% of the neurons from the previous layer right and after the con layer I'm going to add max pooling layer so it is created like this so you know there are uh, no filters in this layer but you have to specify the filter size and uh, stride right so it is going to be 2 comma 2 right and then you add model dot add let's add another convolution layer right which is going to accept 32 filters which is going to apply 32 filters each filter is going to be of the size 5 cross 5 followed by some activation let's say the activation is again ReLU right and then let's add one more con layer right so let's say um, this time we are going to have eight filters each of the size five cross five and after the convolution layer you can maybe add another pooling layer or you can just uh, add a flatten layer right so flatten is actually not a layer it is just a kind of a reshape function it is going to uh, make your volume which is a 3d, 3D volume into a linear layer right and then I'm going to connect them with with a, a dense layer which has 10 neurons so that we can predict outputs for 10 classes followed by activation which is equal to softmax right and that's it right so uh, this is like one type of a model right so there are no hard and fast rule what to put after what so it's totally your choice right so I, I, I decided to create th this kind of a architecture so I made this but you can also have a look at what people are using these days not every architecture is going to work but uh, by looking at different type of architectures examples on the internet you will get to know how to use uh, these layers right so in general you will have a con layer followed by some pooling layer then maybe more con convolution layers with a bigger filter size this is generally what we do and then you add a flatten layer dense layer and you can just print the summary right so you can see right and you can also see what is the output shape so initially from 28 cross 28 we get 26 cross 26 because we are using a 3 cross 3 filter and we have already seen uh, how 
how the fil applying filter reduces the size. So it becomes 28 minus 3 plus 1, which is 26 cross 26. Then again, I apply this filter, which is which makes the size as 24 cross 24 because we are not using any extra padding, right? And then it goes through dropout. So dropout does not change the shape. And we go to max pooling, another convolution, another convolution, and finally a flatten. And then it is connected with a dense layer, which gives probabilities in the um, among the 10 classes, right? And the good thing is you have reduced your parameters a lot, right? So you have only 77,000 parameters and this data set has almost 70,000 examples, right? Which means it is very unlikely to do overfitting, right? And we are also using dropouts, which also adds as a regularizer and prevents overfitting, right? And these are the parameters you can see associated with every layer. So, all right, so model is now ready. And next step is to uh, compile our model and to train it, right? So before training, we need to compile every Keras model by defining how the training should proceed, right? What should be the loss function? What should be the optimizer? What should be the matrix? So loss in this case is going to be a categorical cross entropy. And optimizer, instead of using SGD, there is a very good optimizer, which is called Adam. So I will share some resources on optimizers as well. And the matrix we want to measure for this task is going to be accuracy, right? So let us compile the model and finally let us do the training, right? So let's uh, generate one history object, which is model.fit. And here you give X train, Y train, followed by number of epochs. Let's say I train it for 20 epochs shuffle equals to true which means we are going to randomly shuffle our data during training and batch size i'm going to keep same as mlp so it is going to be 256 and validation uh, data i'm not uh, creating a separate split but you can say that you are going to use 20 percent of the data as the okay so we got one error So it took few minutes to train the entire model and this time I trained it, it on the entire data set of 60,000 examples using 12,000 examples as validation set. So the results which we got are quite good and I just trained it over 10 epochs. So we got around 90% training accuracy and around 90.49% of validation accuracy. And then I plot these results, you can see that these are quite good and the loss training and the validation loss is continuously decreasing and the accuracy is continuously increasing as you can see from the figure right so that's all for this video guys and i hope you uh, you have understood what a cnn is and how you can build your own network and i will also recommend you to go to internet and have a look at the architectures people are building these days right so thanks a lot see you guys in the next topic